Welcome to Yin Yoga Lifestyle. I am your host, Colette Darville. Cultivating our body's resilience and inner silence and its application to all aspects of your life. Let's become enlightened and enjoy the power of intuitiveness and creativity. are listening to Society Bites Radio, social interaction for the mind and soul. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I am your host, Colette Darville, and this is Yin Yoga Lifestyle. So now let us take a deep meditative breath. Inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Jennifer Elizabeth Masters is a soul sculptor, motivational speaker, author, intuitive healer, and coach. For over a decade, Jennifer has empowered thousands to break the mold of past trauma, find love, passion, purpose, and enlightenment, changing people's lives and relationships, helping them heal codependency, addictions, depression, anxiety, suicidal tendencies, fears, and suffering. Some of her clients have been movie producers, attorneys, famous spiritual leaders, and authors. Wayne Dyer was not only a client, but also a friend. Jennifer is the healer's healer. She is a modern-day mystic, an international best-selling author, channel, transformational coach, hypnotherapist, neurolinguistic programming practitioner, reads the Akashic Records, is a master energy healer, ordained minister, and mother of three spiritually grounded awake adults. Jennifer's personal healing journey has taken her all around the world and from master gardener owning her own landscape design business to a thriving healing practice full time. Jennifer is as flexible as she is authentic. Jennifer has healed herself of autoimmune disease, tumors, breast cancer, depression, anxiety, fibromyalgia, codependency, and financial issues. In the last two months, Jennifer healed her skin cancer on her nose. She had had for over six years, and she healed it in one 24-hour period. She is a fearless woman with, who radiates light, compassion, with an ability to laugh at herself that sets her clients at ease. Living in the vortex of creation, she leads a magical life. Jennifer exudes the energy of creation, creating miracles for herself and her clients. She assists entrepreneurs to create their dream life and business. What her clients like best about her is that she listens without judgment is completely present and is highly tuned to the divine. The ascending masters, guides, and universal, which provide assistance to her, get to the root of your issue quickly and get it cleared. Jennifer has authored over over 1,200 articles, five books, and two audiobooks. Wow. Welcome to Yin Yoga Lifestyle, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a tongue twister, Colette. Thank it you really for having is. me. <laughs> and you know what? And I didn't stutter too much. <laughs> I thought you did great. <laughs> Jennifer, um, let's go back in time. Let's go back to what was the turning point in your life when you began to realize, hey, I'm going to work on myself. So you work on you. <laughs> you mean other than the fact that my life was miserable, I was suffering greatly, I had every known disease to man, and, and my relationships were not working. Right. And you can still laugh, <laughs> right? Well, there there was a point in time where I had a, a beautiful man in from Georgia who told me that I was negative. Huh? And it was like a slap across the face. Now, my family, my entire family, were negative. I mean, this is this is what we grow up with, right? We're, we're right. model behavior, and so we become it. And recognizing that this negativity was pervasive, I started to recognize that my thoughts were actually killing me. Wow. And the the thing that I will tell you is I, I because I had so much trauma, sexual trauma from childhood, I, I just hated myself. And I didn't realize 
that I did because consciously I was saying I loved myself, but the unconscious programs were what ran the show. And that's what happens with us is that it's the stuff we don't see. It's the stuff we don't feel or or don't know about. It's all hidden like the iceberg beneath the surface. And so this man (laughs) kind of (laughs) slapped me across the face with his words. (laughs) <laughs> was my wake up call. Uh, but I will also say there was another point at which after my third divorce, I was sitting on the couch alone asking, God, please help me. What is it I don't see? What is it? Because I'd done so much work. I couldn't understand why I kept attracting these negative and abusive relationships. And so I got downloaded with this relationship matrix And when I looked at all of my relationships and I saw what were common in each one, I recognized I was the only common denominator. Oh, wow. But that takes, that takes, you know what, that takes a lot to step back and just look, doesn't it? Well, you know, when the pain becomes too great, Mm. we look at it and go, you know, I know something better is out there and I want it for me. How can I get it? And I started asking questions instead of making statements like my life sucks and I hate my life. That's Mm -hmm. what we tend to do. When we make statements like that, we don't get information. We have to ask questions. It's the old ask and it is given. We ask questions, the universe will respond. And that's the thing is that until we recognize the laws of the universe, And that's what I started to do. I started to really study, you know, Mm. manifestation and and the spiritual laws. And when when you begin to use the spiritual laws and apply them to your life, it's amazing how magical it becomes. Wow. And you did heal yourself, didn't you? You you healed yourself. You had fibromyalgia and Epstein-Barr. Yeah, I was sick all the time. And and here's the thing. The way I explain it to my clients is think of it this way. We're given the gift of this body. Our body is a gift. And if we continue to say, oh, I hate myself. Look at my belly's too big. My breasts are too small. Uh, My hair's too thin. Uh, Look at this. I'm aging. I have wrinkles. What we're doing is we're basically beating up the gift that we were given. And when we beat ourselves up, when we tell ourselves these hateful things, it creates an acid environment in the body. And oh, right. Yes, it, of course. It's, it's these are so our thoughts are acidic when they're negative. And right. I created cancer, I created fibromyalgia and Epstein Barr. It's from self hatred. We are given a gift, but we're supposed to love it. Doesn't, you know, every single person has their own challenges. My challenges will be different than yours, Colette, and different yeah. from. From, from our producers, but here's the thing, no matter what the challenge, whether it's, um, whether it's uh, illnesses or whether we've got Asperger's or um, a borderline personality disorder, all of these things can be healed when we love ourselves. And, and that's that, yeah, that's the hardest part, isn't it? Right. So yeah. we're supposed to love ourselves no matter what we look like, no matter what we feel like. And when we start to say things to ourselves that are positive, I love myself, I am yeah. safe, I am secure, that is, is how, you know, we change yeah. our vibration. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and in, in a way, it's a very simple way to do it. It's not, it's not hard. It's not, it's a, it's a simple concept, but it's just hard for us to do. Well, we're raised with it backwards. We're, right. we're not taught this. We're taught that any kind of focus on ourselves is selfish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's right. Um, so it, while you're healing yourself and you're going through all this uh, the, on this journey, did anything else fall away at the same time? What I started to notice is how much better I felt. You know, the illness is started to go away and eventually completely went away. I had terrible pain in my body, which, which totally went away. And then after that, <laughs> what I started to notice, and you don't notice it when it's gone. Right. I, I, right. Started, I started to feel better. And then all of a sudden I went, I'm not depressed anymore. I'm not worried. I'm not anxious. All of those things just went away when I began to love myself. 
Yeah. And it was simply miraculous. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, so what began to change that really surprised you? Well, you know, life got better. I, I started to have more luck with relationships. I started to have, um, you know, a happier outlook on life and, and people reacted to me differently and, and started to tell me everything. You know, I, I would meet a stranger and they'd start talking to me and they'd go, wow, I've never told that to someone. And people tell me their deepest, darkest secrets because they know innately, they feel it, that there's no judgment. So right. interactions I started to have with people. And of course, you know, I started to do healing, uh, you know, on others as well. And that's when I started to really recognize that, you know, the fact that I healed myself, I was able to do so for others as well yes. and teach them how to think differently. Yes. And that is really, that is really the, the, um, the, the answer that everybody wants to know is, you know, how do I do that? How do I do that? I, I, and you know, I hear this a lot where people say, I've been working on myself. I've been working on myself and nothing is changing. And, um, and I don't know why, so I'm just going to give give up because it's a bunch of, you know, hokey pokey stuff, right? But it really is simple. Well, the, the issue is, and, you know, I, I don't do much hypnotherapy anymore, but what hypnotherapy training did for me, and I became a hypnotherapy teacher as well, um, it just, it helped me to understand the mind and the unconscious. And all of the issues that we have came from childhood. Right. And, and they're hidden beneath the surface. So you can do all the surface cleansing you want, but until you get to the unconscious mind, you're not doing the healing. It's right. not permanent and lasting. Right. And so that was the difference is that um, I recognized what, what the unconscious mind needs is repetition. It, yeah. it, it believes everything we tell it. So whatever we say to ourselves silently or out loud, the unconscious mind believes. Yeah. And most of us, until we really awaken and, and really, truly love ourselves, we're really doing damage because we, you know, we say things like, I hate myself. Nobody will ever love me. I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. And the unconscious mind goes, yeah, you're right. And then the universe continues to bring us circumstances that prove us right. Right. And that's the other thing is that people think, well, manifestation doesn't work. Well, yes, it does. But what are those unconscious thoughts that you're 95% of those things that you're thinking you're not even aware of? So, yes, that's very true. You have to be very careful about what you think. You know, mm -hmm. that old saying, you know, be careful what you wish for, right? right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I know that you, um, you drew on your Kundalini yoga for your, for your, uh, um, for your practice and the way you live. Um, can we talk about that a little bit more? Well, absolutely. And what what came out of the, the Kundalini daily practice was a new healing modality. Yes. Can we? Oh, I really want to talk about that. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, Kundalini yoga uses the breath of fire and the breath of fire is so cleansing. Um, and I, I have to say, when I began to do the breath of fire and, of course, holding the breath out, I recognized the fear that was underneath everything of fear of dying. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to die on a conscious level, but you know, when you're holding your breath out, it really brings to light the fact that we are mortal and, you know, without breathing, we're, we're not able to live. So um, the breath of fire is transformational. And I actually incorporated that into the healing practice that the, the, um, the modality liquid fire and this liquid fire has, uh, I downloaded it, and uh, the people that have experienced it have said how phenomenal it is. That's what I healed my nose with in, in just 24 hours. I, well, I was, and I have to say, um, um, and to all our uh, national, international listeners, I, um, uh, I, experienced, I experienced the healing modality um, through Jennifer, absolutely. She's the, she's the, the 
developer of it. And I have to tell you, it was profound. And I, I believe it or not, I'm, I am the biggest skeptic. But then when somebody proves something to me, I'm the biggest believer. And I have to tell you, it works. <laughs> Carry on, Jennifer. 